Alright everybody, this is it. Today is it. It's currently 4.30 in the morning. We're getting ready to go to Nashville for Walker Stalker Con. And, uh, Keisha's doing her makeup. But, we're waiting on Cody to get here. You guys probably know him as Foxy for real. Or Foxy. However. But, uh, he'll be here in about 30 minutes and then we're gonna head out. So, Excited for the day. We got our bags packed. I've got cigars for Ron and Abe. So, yeah, I'm very excited to meet everybody that's there today. We're going to have a blast. Alright, everybody, it's time to leave. We got the pop bag full of our stuff we're going to get signed. We got to get these cigars. As a matter of fact, I think Cody's here right now. here. Got my crew. Gonna meet some people, gonna get some autographs, gonna have a good time with my friends, my family. So let's do this. The line is unbelievable. Get ready to go in. Oh boy! I'll back check. Bags. Come on. Bags still there. No bags. Bags. Right over here. Right over here. That guy met Undertaker. Did he? Yeah. That guy is talking to met Undertaker. Uh, yeah, I heard it. Dude, it's a lot bigger this year. Yeah. Okay. Where are you going uh, You said you wanted to look around. Let's go this way. This is towards the people. Look at, look at those lines. Okay, Joey. Where's your steps this way? Well, it don't matter. Yeah. All right, we all go. Let's apologize for the person. There's stores on this side. And There's Plastic on Empire. Side. Yeah, let's, go. let's go check out the merchandise. Uh, this is merchandise. No, I got it. Yeah. Careful. Careful. There's a, there's a Herschel. Do you see a headless Herschel? I know, I know where Scott's at. Thank you. There's some pretty cool bombs. Beast. Do they even got autograph pops here? So we got chases. That's a nine-inch screw. 
There's that cupcake chase you were talking about. Yeah, I'm about. looking for that. Ain't getting it today. Stanley. Where's Griffin go? Stan the man? Mm hmm. Right Square. here. Oh man. There you go. See, that's not bad. No. For Stan Lee, especially. Dude, what's up with this Simba? I've never seen that. I've never saw that either. It's a. He's glittery. Hey, brother. Yeah. You should get this side. Nah. For the Rick Grimes prison rig. Prison rig? Yeah. With the machete? Look, Joey, we got a Thunder Chase up there. For $100? Yeah. Really? They got a Freddy Krueger chase here. Yep, 90. Really? It's only 35 They got the new Batman wave. Mm hmm. I seen Mr. Freeze the other day. There he is. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's cool. How much is that? Forty-five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chuggy. Yep. Yeah. They got reptar. Keisha, did you say there's a reptar chase? Tommy and reptar. Tommy, yep, he's got his red shirt. They're small. Look at this. Look, the throne shirt. Yep. Dude, oh my god, he was $70 that. last I'm time. Uh, That's pretty, around. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a Fidget spinners. <laughs> I got eight. Mm hmm. For twelve dollars, that's not bad. That's what I'm fucking excited for, right over there. <laughs> oh, man, it's a ship. That's a slave one, dude. That's pretty awesome. Sign my name, you can just do it. Yeah. Man, I'm the first part. Yeah, I'm that big. I don't know who it's signed by. Me neither. Check out the Dupadina. Oh. oh man. It's got Christopher Savage's name. That is sweet. The principal of Satan. He's right there. Yeah. 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 Irish. Mm. You see this? This is your mark, you Irish bug bastard. I wonder what it is. Rig, Tom. That's cool. Oh, this is where they're doing tattoos at. Yep. Alright guys, I bought some pops. Two chases. Well, one chase and then another grail for my girlfriend. We got the behemoth and the bombshell Wonder Woman. Alright guys, I think I'm going to get some autographs, me and my girlfriend, Keisha. We're looking around right now. And Brandon. We're looking around right now, seeing who we want to meet first. So, wish us luck. Hopefully the line isn't too big of a wait. Alright guys. Time to get this signed. Alright guys, up next, Ron Perlman. Alright guys, next up is John Bernthal. Alright everyone, we're waiting in line to meet Michael Cutlets. We got our ticket. He went to do photo ops earlier, so we're just waiting in line until he gets back.
Alright everybody, we just made it back home from Nashville from Walker Con. We had an amazing time, it was a blast. I'm going to wait and show you guys all the good stuff in the morning because I'm super tired. I had to drive there, drive back, and I'm just super tired from all the driving and all the festivities today. But I plan on filming in the morning what all the stuff that I got while I was there. So, see you in the morning. Alright everyone, like I said last night, this is going to be me showing you guys what all I bought while I was at Walker Stalker yesterday. But before we get into that, a uh, little backstory. Uh, Jesus, uh, he has a channel called Ready for Work. Hopefully he gets that up off the ground and running soon so me, him, and Cody can do collaboration videos together. But uh, a few days ago he found a Star-Lord chase at our local FYE. And uh, this morning I woke up and in my head I was like, well if Zeus can do it, maybe I can do it. And sure enough, I found Thimbaler this morning at our FYE. He's a pretty cool pop and whenever he was announced, and whenever he was announced that there was going to be a chase, uh, I knew I had to have it. So he's a pretty cool pop. Uh, I'll probably do some glamour shots of all these pops because I have quite a few more to show but let's get into the good stuff now the first autograph that I got yesterday was Jeffrey Dean Morgan's and uh, I waited in line for like an hour and 30 minutes I believe just to meet him because that's how backed up the line was and you had to buy his autographs pre-sale and luckily enough, I was able to get one. And I was in Group B. I didn't want to be Group A because you had to be in his line super early. And I didn't want to do that because I wanted to get in there and look around when I first got there. Not set in a line for an hour and a half to two hours and let all the good stuff go to everybody else. So I wanted to see what kind of pops and stuff they had when I was there. But I got the Artist Edition of issue 100 autographed by him. I'll probably uh, I'll probably show you guys this in a different way so you can see the autograph better. But uh, he was a really cool guy. Uh, we complimented each other's beards, <laughs> and uh, he uh, he he was in a silly string war too with uh, Norman Reedus the whole day yesterday. It was either him going to his tent. And shooting Norman with silly string, or Norman peeping through his curtains and shooting him with silly string. As a matter of fact, he did while I was like the fourth person in line to meet him. Like uh, Norman had like two big cans of silly string and came through the curtains and unloaded on him, and it was all in his hair, all over his leather jacket. It was insane. But uh, he got him back a little bit later on before I got to get that autographed by him. It was. It's pretty funny. Uh, whenever Norman first did it to him, though, he, he caught him off guard, and he was like, what the fuck? And uh, there was two little kids, like, next to me in line, and he was like, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but uh, after I got a line from that, uh, I, oh, man, uh, I got to meet Ron Perlman. Oh, my God. I don't know if it was... Meeting Jeffrey Dean Morgan or meeting Ron Perlman, that was the highlight of the day, but I'll probably show you guys this in a different way too, so you can see the autographs a little bit better on these big books, but uh, he seemed like he was having an off day, Ron did. Uh, whenever I got up there to meet him, uh, he had to do a photo op in seven minutes, and his food was getting there, and he was worried his food was going to be cold, but uh, he did enjoy the cigar that I got him. Uh, he said that he was going to enjoy it later, so I hope that he did, and uh, I got a picture with him, and I'll show you guys that at the end of the video, uh, but he was a real swell guy to me, classy, uh, so was uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, they were both top acts, class acts, and uh, I'd probably pay to meet them both again, they were just so cool to sit and talk to and listen to the wisdom they had to bestow. But uh, on to the Funko Pops that I bought yesterday. Uh, the first two I got, and the only two I bought actually while I was there, were uh, my girlfriend. She wanted the Behemoth Pop, 
when it first released for the New York Comic Con wave, and uh, our Hot Topic sold out of them. So unfortunately, they never restocked, but uh, I was able to get her Behemoth while we was there yesterday. And she really wanted this pop, and I was glad I was able to find it and buy it for her. But uh, I bought myself the Wonder Woman Bombshell Chase, and uh, I've been looking for this pop everywhere. CM Games, which I wouldn't buy from there anyway because they sell them upmarked like hell, but... Uh, been looking at CM Games, FYE, GameStop for this pop, and uh, I'm glad that I'm finally able to have her in my collection and own her. Now this piece, oh my god, this piece is pretty sweet. John Bernthal was there yesterday, and I was able to get my chase signed. It's my first autographed chase. So fucking cool to have. Uh, he actually signed a pretty cool quote. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but one batch, two batch, penny and dime. The story that he used to tell his daughter in the TV show. It's a sweet piece. I'm glad that I was able to get it autographed. Uh, probably one of the coolest autographed pops that I have, which I have quite a bit, and I'll show you guys one day, but uh, this is probably one of the coolest ones that I have that's autographed. And last but not least by no means was Tom Payne. There is Ricky. But Tom Payne was cool. He took the time out to uh, meet everybody that was there and talk to everybody. That's not Ricky, that's Binky. But uh, he talked to us about how he was going to be wearing his top knot and his armor and next season, which is season 8 I believe we're on now, but he's excited to be able to pull off that look and uh, he actually personalized it to my girlfriend, Keisha. Hopefully you guys can make that out. But uh, he took the time out to talk to us and uh, make us feel special, you know? And it's cool that they're they're able to do that. Like, they're just... Everybody that was there that we met, like, they were amazing people. They took the time out of their busy schedule to sit and talk to us while we were had waited in line for... For Jeff D. Morgan, I know we waited for a while, but most of the lines, we had like a little wait of like maybe 15 to 20 minutes, but I had a blast while we was there. I was able to spend time with my friends and family. There's another cat. Get down. But uh, I was just glad that we all got to spend time together, and uh, next year, we'll probably be going back next year. It's probably going to be an annual thing, because I've been to the last two, and I plan to go to probably all of them that's in Nashville. But I also got a few posters while I was there too and I'll show you guys these at the end because it'll be hell trying to unroll these right now and show you guys but uh, hopefully you guys like this video and uh, subscribe if you did, leave a comment if you did, like if you did and uh, I'll bring you some more awesome content like that in the the coming future as a matter of fact October sometime in October I'm probably going to go to the Atlanta Walker Stalker and they're going to have Bruce Campbell there oh my god that movie Evil Dead the whole franchise just something about Ash like he's a badass like I can relate to him like he's goofy he has his flaws he's not perfect by any means he's no Captain America or anything like that like he has his flaws yeah but at the end of the day, he still kicks ass. He still saves the day. So maybe that's what I find so relatable to him. But he's cool. But uh, anyway, uh, like this video. Subscribe if you liked it. Uh, and tell your friends. Alright guys, so this is one of the posters. My girlfriend bought this one. She loves the movie The Crow. I got Pops holding down the corners. <laughs> but it's a pretty sweet poster. And if you haven't watched the movie, definitely check it out. Pulp Fiction, one of the best movies that Quentin Tarantino's ever made. I plan on hanging all these posters up in my collection room. And we saved the best for last. Army of Darkness.
one of my favorite movies of all time. Which I have quite a few favorite movies of all time, but that's okay. We all do.